before we get started on using the uh, taser, I want you to take note of something. Now I have a 2015 scat pack, and when I fire it up, I have the Challenger logo. Now I had originally asked um, the dealership if they can flash it so I can get the scat beat. And um, they told me it wasn't possible. So, you know, one of the features of the Taser is that this is possible. You can change the splash screen to either the Hellcat or the Scat B. So let's see if that's possible. So let's get started. The first thing you got to do is you have to turn your car into the run. And you have to make sure that it's not running. So it's on run, but not running. The next thing you have to do is you have to scroll through the screen here make sure the word audio is in the top up there um, you'll notice if you let it sit for long enough it goes back to something else it won't work when it's there you need to make sure the word audio is there press the left hold the left tap cancel now you are in the menu system eco mode no and to switch to the menu system you keep your thumb on the left arrow and you hit cancel cancel will bring you through all the menus you also very important advance through the menus slowly don't sit here and mash this button wait for it to change press it again all right we're gonna go through all of these in separate videos I just want to do the visual changes today there we go now to make a change to the splash screen we're gonna use the uh, the cruise control enable button Okay, we got a Hellcat splash screen, don't want that. Shaker splash screen, don't want that. I want the scat pack. There we go. Now, I you notice I released this button here. For this change, you notice it didn't pop up. The scat B, for some reason, what you need to do, is you need to turn the car off. And I'm gonna take you off the mount now. Turn the car off, exit the car with the key. Close the door, and you're gonna need to wait 30 seconds to uh, for all the lights to go off. So we'll pick up in a second where we left off. Let's see, after 30 seconds, the reason for that is you just need to have the, uh, the dash reset, which means get the key out of the car, wait 30 seconds, let the doors close, let the screen shut off, and then start over. So here we go, let's fire it up and see if we have the SCAT B that it was impossible for the dealer to flash. There we go. Piece of cake. Now, if you want the Hellcat splash screen or the shaker splash screen, I have a shaker aftermarket shaker, shaker put on by Cervini's. I could throw that on, but ever since I saw this car for the first time, the Scat Pack announced that B on the dashboard, I thought was awesome. Um, and not getting it was kind of disappointing. So uh, now we've got it hooked up. So uh, that's it for today's video. We are uh, just working on visual changes, one menu at a time. Um, if you're interested in this Hellcat splash screen, you can go ahead and do that. Shaker splash screen, do that. You can bring it back. Don't forget, every setting you change here, you are gonna want to write down what it was before, because you need to change all of these back before you take it into the dealer for service. So it may not seem like a lot but six eight months from now are you going to remember every menu change you made no so just write it down keep it in your glove box and this way it'll be available so all right if uh this helped you out in any way don't forget to drop a like subscribe i'm going to be putting out videos for all the settings that are available to me in my manual scat pack uh, over the next couple maybe the next two weeks or so i'll try and get through all the settings but i'm going to break them down into one or two bite-sized videos each time so enjoy thanks thanks for watching